thought for the day. True abundance isn't based on your net worth. It's based on your self-worth. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we're reminded of how to gain confidence and ways to activate it quickly. Have a listen. Confidence is not something you have, it's something you create. And you can create it at any moment in time. A sense of confidence is nothing but a sense of power within yourself, a sense of certainty that you can pull something off. And you can create that feeling literally in a moment. It's not something that you live with. There is no one that I've ever met that no matter what situation they're in is always confident. Everybody gets knocked off kilter at times. The key is can you turn the confidence on when you need it so you can get the most out of yourself? Does that make sense so far? So you've got to remember that feeling confident is nothing but a state of mind. And you can change and create any state you want at any moment in time, no matter what's going on around you. You've got to remember that any feeling you've ever had in your body, whether it be fear, anxiety, concern, depression, frustration, or ecstasy, power, unstoppability, confidence, success, those emotions, any emotion you feel comes from the way you use your physical body. The only way you can feel anything is by the way you move, the way you breathe, your facial expressions. So if you're not feeling confident, you don't have to intellectually try and pump yourself up because it doesn't always work. I'm sure you've tried at times to go, well, I need to be confident. I know I should be confident, but you're still not there. Well, let me tell you, the quickest way to get confident is to change your physiology radically. Emotion is created by motion. The way you move your body physically, the way you breathe, your facial expressions, instantly affects your emotional state, the way you feel, and the way you think. So if you need confidence, you must move in a confident way. You must literally put yourself at level 10 or above. If you're confident enough, you can develop the confidence. But if you're competent and you don't have confidence, you'll never succeed. There are many competent people who could accomplish incredible results, but they're missing the confidence. Am I suggesting to you to be foolhardy? No. What I'm suggesting to you is learn how to turn on the confidence rapidly. Use enough of it to learn what you need to know to be competent and effective and produce the results. But you'd be surprised how much more you know than you realize if you really get yourself in the right state of mind. Does that make sense? Try it. Try moving your body in a confident way. Stand the way you'd be standing if you felt unstoppably confident. Breathe the way you'd be breathing if you felt unstoppably confident. Really go for it. Put the kind of expression on your face that you'd have if you were unstoppably confident. And make some gestures. Actually, move your hands out with some power as if you're trying to make a point with real power and where you know that what you're going to say is going to be effective. And just notice how that feels. Say something. Say yes in the tone of voice of somebody who is totally confident. Don't go, yes, 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 yes. Yes! With some power. And just feel how it feels in your body. Get a sense of it. Turn on more intensity than you would normally use with another person. Just feel it in your body so you feel what it's like. You want to be able to turn it on just by turning your body on. This is critical. With this as a power, you can go from being afraid to strong in a matter of moments. Now try something really stupid and silly. Using your physical body effectively can put you in a state of confidence no matter what was happening around you. No matter how intense the situation, no matter how scary, no matter how difficult, you always have that resource. Don't ever say to yourself again, well, I just don't have enough confidence. Break out of that shell. If you don't feel like you have confidence, create it right now. It's not a thing that somebody gave you years ago. It's not something you missed out on. It's something you create by the way you speak, by the way you move, by the way you gesture. Control your mental focus. Remember, what you focus on is going to determine how you feel. So if you focus constantly on how things might not work out, and you look at in your brain all the possibilities of, well, what if this doesn't work, or what if that doesn't happen, if that's your mental focus, of course you're going to lack confidence. Remember, we experience whatever we focus on. So if you're focusing on how things won't work, you're going to feel the pain that you associate to that. You're going to create a tremendous amount of doubt, and then it usually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't get what you want. But when you expect and focus on one result and you say, this is what it is, I'm going to accomplish this, I expect it, 
immediately your level of self-confidence goes up and you feel active immediately because your brain says, hey, if I do this, I can get some pleasure in my life. Does that make sense? That's the process we're talking about. We must control our focus. And one way to do it, of course, is to control our focus by controlling the questions we ask ourselves. Invariably, people who have a lot of doubt ask questions that create it. If you walk around in life believing that the only way you can feel confident is if you've already accomplished something, you got a problem. You're limiting yourself to the number of things you can ever feel confident about and succeed. In other words, some people say, well, how can I be confident when I've never done it before? Listen, I feel confident in all kinds of things I've never done before. You say, well, that's because you're screwed up. <laughs> no, that's not why it is. It's because I come from a belief system that says this, that if I can imagine it, I can achieve it. So if I can even imagine it, I know I can achieve it, and that allows me to be confident. Plus, I have a belief system that says, if I'm committed, there's always a way to make it work. And no matter how tough the situation is, if I don't know how to make it work, somebody else does, and I can get their help. So I come from that place, and that allows me to be confident. I know I can get help. I know if I'm committed, there's a way to do it. And I know that anything in the past I've really been able to imagine accomplishing and finding a role model for, I can't accomplish. Hey, listen, everything you do now, you once weren't good at. Everything you do now, there was a time when you had not done it. Why wait to get confident? Besides that, I know I can be confident about what I'm about to begin because I know, look, if it doesn't work out, I'll learn something. And that makes me feel confident because that learning will allow me to be better in the future. In other words, set yourself up to be able to be confident. Again, I'm not suggesting be foolhardy. I'm just telling you how to turn confidence on when you need it. And most of the time, you do need it. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.